What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> I just got me a, a witty. I believe it's a 1944. And, uh... I believe it's a witty, right? 44. Anyways, another good find here at the school. I brought my granddaughter over here to play. And there she is waving. Crowd's moist. <laughs> Anyways. Yep, so got me a, a weedy. All right, first hole, and we're starting off good. I'll talk at you on the next one. I'm back. Got me another, I think it's a peach piece of a, a watch, some type of gear or some, something. I don't know. It's over here close to the woods. And it, I got it with my douche. So, huh. There's another find. And, uh, rang up in the high 80s. Pretty loud screecher. So, anyways, it's funny. My son's over there with my granddaughter, way over there. And they're playing in the woods. She's just like Grampy. <laughs> Anyways. All right. I'll see you when I get another one. Hey, y'all. Look what I got. I got me a spoon. It's a little rusty. And there's the spoon bowl right there. But, yeah. Pretty nice little find. I wish it was uh, in a little better shape because... God knows I could use some more silverware. We, uh, it's funny when you find these spoons, a lot of times you'll see like the front end is chewed off. They use them damn spoons until they didn't, you know, until it was like a scraper after that. So back in the day, they used to wear the front of these spoon bowls right off. Anyways, uh, another nice find for the night and I'm on to the next one. What's going on, everybody? I'm still out here. Zoe's on the swing set, so I figured I'd check this out. I got me a bullet. Well, I have me a casing. And it says... Does that say 357? What's that say on there? Hold on one second. Let me write that on my car hearts. See, every time I do that, I break something. Is this an old bullet? It's a Peters. Or Beats. Huh. 1570? Anyways, if you know how uh, anything about these shells, let me know in my comments. Thank you. Wow, check this out. Check it out. I have a bucket lister, I think. Oh, yeah. Look at that big daddy. That nail right there is why I do this. I come out, and I hustle, and I hunt, and in the rain, sleet, snow, and I'm out here looking, searching for that big daddy nail. And look at that. I got me a big daddy nail. You can't just get this with any detector, folks. You need a deuce, okay? You need a deuce to get one of these, okay? Now, you said I couldn't do it. You know, I did it. Now, uh, real quick, go check Go Danny Boy out, all right? Um, really good guy and uh, great channel. Oh, Danny boy, and uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, like and subscribe to him. He's a real nice guy, and I like helping people, you know, and he roots me on every day to find this big nail. Thank you, Danny, for your support. I'll talk at you later. What's going on, everybody? I got me a coin in my plug. And I already looked at it, so I know what it is. It's a 1969 penny. And uh, it was down in the hole right here. I got a wicked hit. 
So when I went to, when I dug my plug, I kept sweeping over the plug and I kept getting a really loud screecher. Well, in the grass right here was this. It's a Jeep. And guess what? You want to know something cool about this? This is actually my first ever Tootsie car made in the USA. Isn't that cool? I cannot believe that. I got a bucket lister nail, Big Daddy, and it's got Peronis because it's spent. And uh, and then uh, I got me a Jeep. Heck yeah, get excited. A Tootsie at that. It's a, it's a two-seater for me and my Betsy to go riding in. And uh, heck yeah, get excited. And a 1969 Penny. All right here and right there. Pretty cool. Talk at you later. Here's a wrap up from yesterday. Me and my son when uh, we actually, there's my granddaughter. Hi Zoe. Grounds moist. Um, we went down to the town square down in there and got a few things and a uh, couple bottles there. These are kissed bottles. They were from Lincoln, Maine. I don't, this I don't think is very old, but I uh, basically liked it so I brought it home um, and a couple bottles that I found on the ground um, and then this one here um, I don't know what it says on it oh something elixir St. Uh, Auburn, Maine that's pretty cool it's from the same state Adam got a couple uh uh, Aroostook County milk jugs yesterday down there also and there's another one there those are really nice to have and then I got this little medicine jar I don't sure what it says on it Lysol this is a Lysol jar that's right pretty doggone cool one more thing I found yesterday I'm not sure really what it is I found it in a cellar hole it's got a handle here, and here it is some type of a water jug or something. I thought it was cool the way that they soldered these joints in. And I had to dig for this. It wasn't easy to get out. But look at the old solder in there. I'm pretty sure um, it came from a stable area. I think that this actually went down into the well because I found the well. And I think they dunked it down in the well. Got the water and then brought it back to the stable and then poured it in the horse's troughs or whatever they had to do. So uh, me and my son found this, well, yesterday. And uh, he also found this big old drill bit. I can reach it. And he found a saw blade. But this damn thing, um, I think it was used to make you know, bent Peroni's um, holes and logs, you know, like holes like that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people make not straight holes. It actually looks like a drill bit my son got a hold of because he's rough on the rigging sometimes. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then there's a saw blade that I thought he was gonna get out for me. But I'll get it, I got it, son ground's moist anyways check that saw blade out he found so yeah we found that yesterday pretty doggone cool my son's a handsome boy he's single ladies woo 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 Adam smile alright so basically here's my wrap up I got a 1969 penny I got a uh, 44 Weedy, and then I got Big Daddy Nail, Big Daddy Nail, Big Daddy Nail's got Peronis, bankcarrot.com, um, and then I got a couple, oh yeah, I forgot, I got a spoon bowl, and part of the handle right here, looks like it might be kind of fancified, so I'm gonna have to check it out, and then the find of the day is my first ever Tootsie. Now these these toys right here are fairly old, 
but I'm happy to have one because I never even remembered these when I was a kid. I always played with Hot Wheels and stuff like that. So getting me a Tootsie, I'm pretty doggone happy. Hey, Gracie, Zoe, smile. <laughs>